What is going on YouTube Nation? This is Dark David and if you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Best of all, my videos are free. I show you a stock and dividend analysis on vi videos on stocks I'm interested in or stocks that I own. This is a stock that I am long on, KO stock, Coca-Cola stock. Now, earlier in the year of 2020, I did a, a debate and why I believed Coca-Cola was better than Pepsi. One of the reasons I said Coke was better for the average investor is because of the price per share. Coke is a lot cheaper than Pepsi. And I really like that about Coca-Cola. I will invest in Pepsi, don't get me wrong, but I am long in Coca-Cola stock. Love the stock. And I'm gonna show you why I invested in this stock right now. So first of all, since inception, Coca-Cola has beaten the S&P by 7,301, I'm sorry, 7,031.43% to 2,993.37%. Why well, I better get my uh, numbers <laughs> correct if I'm doing uh, stock and dividend analysis videos. But in the past five years, uh, the S&P has defeated uh, Coca-Cola. So when I look at stocks, I'm gonna see how they've done against uh, the S&P in since inception. Okay, the S&P, they killed them. Past five years, S&P has beat them. In the past year, the S&P has beat Coca-Cola past six months. So I always use the Google app to compare um, Coca-Cola to the S&P. But this is what I like about Coca-Cola. I'm going to go over the products real quick and uh, discuss why I really like Coke to show you what they're made of and their capabilities because it's a phenomenal stock, phenomenal dividend. Now, again, it's not a bad growth stock either. And this stock is, it's just going to grow and it's going to it's just going to keep on going. And again, the recession kind of, well, I wouldn't say the recession, but the recession um, right in 2009, it took a hit. But again, the pandemic, let's just say pandemic, um, it did take a hit. And I capitalized on um, a lot of shares of Coke. And I'll show you what I plan on doing in a little bit with Coke. Well, let's see what they own first. And then we'll go over them financially. So there's a lot of products that Coca-Cola owns. Um, obviously, Coca-Cola, Sprite, Fanta, Schweppes. Okay, I use Schweppes. They're diet tonic, um, especially when I drink my gin and tonics. Uh, by the way, Diego Brands is a semi-annual stock. Very good. Um, it's just growing. Very nice dividend. So just look into that one as well. Waters and hydration. Uh, they own vitamin water. They own Powerade. They own Dasani Water and Smart Water. Juices, Dairy, um, A Minute May they own. They own Innocent. They own Simply. And they own Fairlife. Fairlife, I did a review on them. Actually, I, I have drinking, drank, ugh, drinking. I have drank Fairlife before. High amount of protein. So if you're into fitness, I'll probably put a, post the review in the top right-hand corner of what I've liked about Fairlife. When I started my niche, I was like, okay, I'm going to do fitness, I'm going to do nursing. But you know what? My passion all of a sudden became into investing in dividend investing. It, it, literally overnight, I was like, wow, I want to learn. Why I want to make money, I want to do this. And, and I'm like, wow. So when I started to invest in Coca-Cola, I just realized they own Fairlife. And I tell you what, stuff's really good. Um... Decent amount of calories, this stuff's so smooth, but it's uh, it's high in uh, calories. So if you're trying to bulk up, it's not a bad product. Again, I'm not a dietitian, but um, I, I did a review. I'll post that in the corner. It's 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 really good. Coffee wise, Barista Brothers, Gotcha Gold uh, Brew, um, Georgia Coffee, Costa Coffee. So they're trying they're start expanding. They own Honest Tea. Gold tea, peace tea, foos tea. So they're just going to keep on buying people. They, it's what they do. It's what the money they make. So what I like about these guys too is I just showed you some of their products. That they have either, they have over 200 brands, but these are just show, some of them. I'm just showing you more. Uh, Dogadon, okay, waters and hydration. 
Shell Moore, Aquarius, Aloha, Seal, okay, Sparkling Soft Drinks, Shell Moore, Barks, Fresca. You know, that's not a bad root beer. I haven't had that one in a long time, but, you know, I'm trying to watch my calories and stuff. So um, that's one thing. So uh, juices, let's just see what else they carry. Uh, Addis, okay, that's not a bad product. I haven't seen that one over here. So you're seeing what they bring to the table. Consumers like this stuff. I drink Diet Coke like it's my job at 2 in the afternoon, a.k.a. 1400 military time, Eastern time, and as a registered nurse. I get my eight ounce uh, Diet Coke or I chug a bang, depending on how long I want to stay awake to do homework. Um, luckily I'm on task right now, but I love Diet Coke. I mean, I like Coca-Cola too. I, I like the Coke products. Don't it, It's just something about them, the taste. I like them better than Pepsi. Um, you know, as a joke, there was a girl that I work with on the nursing floor and um, she was drinking Pepsi. She goes, I love Pepsi. And I, and I have a Coke in my hand. I go, so you're a Pepsi head and I'm a Coke head. And, all right, all right. You know, just cracking a joke. But Coke versus Pepsi, that's a big rivalry, you know? And, um, you know, just to add some humor to it, it's uh, Coca-Cola has a weird history with them. Um, you'll have to look it up. I, I prefer not to discuss this on here. But as a company, they've done so well. And I'm going to show you how they've done financially real quick. Okay, December 2019, only $9 billion. March 2020, $8.68 billion. June, $7.15 billion. September, $8.65 billion. So, huge tank in June 2020. September 2020, they're just making a comeback. So, let's think about this. People need stuff for beverages. Um, bottled water isn't the best thing to drink. I mean, it's better tap water, your bodies can filter it, blah, blah, blah. But people drink Dasani water and all these bottled waters and they just throw it in the garbage and don't recycle. But Dasani water is pretty popular. And when you, I hear the word billions, billions, $8.65 billion, um, that's pretty impressive. Okay, and they're not going anywhere. And what I like about these guys too is their dividend history. Um, you're already seeing their $8.65 billion, but this is what I like about Coca Cola with their dividend history. So we're just going to start 2016, 35 cents a share, 2017, 37 cents a share, 2018, 39 cents, 2019, 40, 2020, 41 cents a share. So they have increased their dividend over time, okay? A 3.3% dividend yield, that's not bad. I like dividend stocks from a 3.3, uh, you know, a 3.3 range. I like three to 5% with my dividend stocks. Um, over time, when I get more conservative, I'll get like two and 1%, things like that. But for my dividend portfolio, my M1 Finance dividend portfolio, I'm targeting at least three to eight percent, eight obviously being stable. Um, QYLD is like 10 to 11 percent, and that's a stable stock. I just posted a video of why I put money in it. But Coca Cola, I'm going to show you in my M1 Finance Dividend Portfolio what I plan on doing with it and why I love Coca Cola as a stock and what its capabilities are. So you see the pay date, uh, you know, um, for January, February, March, April, okay. May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So I'll show you why I put money into Coke and show you the distribution that the plan and the game plan with Coke. I'm going to jump to my M1 Finance Dividend Portfolio. I'm going to show you how many shares I own as well. So as of right now, I own 12.58 shares of Coca-Cola. Okay, in my portfolio, Coca-Cola is at 5% of my portfolio. So it's down, which is nice. And it has earned me $16.77 in dividends. That's not bad at all. Okay, Coca-Cola has earned me $16.77 in dividends. So a dividend yield of 3.26%. 
okay, I just saw an article low expectations. That's fine. They're still going to distribute a very good dividend. So my strategy, okay, certain stocks distribute dividends at a certain time. Pfizer does, AT&T does, Coke, Altria, Omega, Spirit Realty Capital, Exxon, Fastenal does their own thing. So by putting money in, and I have QYLD, I, I'm going to put a lot of money into QYLD. Is monthly dividends, it's going to distribute, and it's going to start buying more shares. I'm going to buy more shares of QYLD. It's going to buy more shares of other stocks, you know, including Coca-Cola, Spirit Realty Capital, all these other ones. So the sky's the limit with Coca-Cola. I'm going to continue to invest. Eventually, I will put money in Pepsi stock, okay? It's going to happen eventually, but right now, I'm going to get at least 200 shares of Coca-Cola before I even consider Pepsi. Okay, with my dividend portfolio, I want to get to $100,000. What I plan on doing is each time, you know, I get at least $15,000 in a certain portfolio, then I switch things. Then I add, you know, new sectors. Pepsi will be in there right now, but Coca-Cola, I want that. I want the dividends. I want it to increase its dividends over time. And I want that compound interest to really start kicking in. So I'm going to keep on putting money in. Once I get to $100,000, who knows, the dividends will start paying for themselves. I probably won't even have to touch anything, but we'll see, okay? But it, I need to have the money in there, leave it alone, go from there. So that's my plan with my dividend portfolio. Let me know what you think of uh, the strategy with Coca-Cola. Do you like Coca-Cola as a stock? Uh, let me know. Um, it's one of my favorite stocks. That's why I wanna post a stock and dividend analysis video. I'm gonna try to post daily videos but I can almost guarantee you in the next, you know, at least every three days, I'm going to have a video. If I can't do that, then I'm going to do it for sure, um, you know, every three days, okay? So keep an eye on my channel. Again, if you are new, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. This is Dark Divin, and you guys have a great Monday, and be safe out there. And, uh, man, by the way, what a hell of a game by Tampa Bay. Great defense, you know, great teamwork. Okay, think about this. The effort that you put in is going to pay off. The effort those guys put in for the, to win the Super Bowl, Tom Brady, way past his prime, Gronk, the effort those guys put in to be a champion, the effort you put in for your dividend portfolio, it's going to pay off. You're going to be a champion over time. You stay consistent. You put money in. Leave that alone. Reinvest the dividends. Sky's the limit. So that's all I have to say. This is Darth Dividend. You guys take care.